Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> My name is Denver G. Christian. The G's for gorgeous. I'm South African. When I was 15, I was deported because I didn't have AIDS. <laughs> I tried to get AIDS, but it was really hard finding someone to bleed in me. <laughs> Constantly walking around strangers asking them if they would like to be blood brothers. <laughs> Talking about blood brothers, I actually have an identical twin brother who's here tonight. <laughs> me and my brother were named after places in America. I'm Denver and he's New Mexico. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Virginia. <laughs> I like sitting next to my identical twin brother because I feel beside myself. I like it, I like it how he hasn't really noticed that his daughter is pretty much all me. You know, I'm not saying I'm the father, but I did have sex with his wife. I'm single. <laughs> It's really hard to find the time for a relationship because I'm always at the gym trying to get out of my contract. <laughs> I went to get a kebab the other night and there was this really, really good looking woman serving. So I thought I'd best, I'd best be charming. So I, after I placed my order, she said, can I have your name? I said, if I give you my name, what will people call me? And I never got not one laugh, not a smile, nothing. So I said, I apologize. My name's Denver, but you can have it. I now go by Marvin. Still, nothing, never got nothing. So she gave me my order number and I sat down. Five minutes later, I heard Marvin. Order for Marvin. I sat still, never did nothing. Two minutes later, I went to the counter and she said, Marvin? I said, no, Denver. She said, can I have your number? I said, if I give you my number, how will people call me? She said, I meant your order number. I said, I know what you meant, Sandra. This is, I've gotten takeout before. This is not my first kebab, you cold-hearted bitch. I took my food and I left. It was the saddest kebab ever, mostly because of my tears. It made it soggy. I left a terrible Yelp review though. I said, the chips were great, but your kebab tasted like disappointment and sorrow. I like going for walks, but I only walk the streets. I'm too bad luck to walk in nice places like parks and trails. Knowing my luck, I'll find the body. My alibi will be flimsy. With my sarcasm and skin tone. The police will be like, why did you strangle that woman? And I'll be like, which woman, man? Be more specific. Where were you on the 7th of June, 2017? I don't know, probably in the park strangling that woman. I'm joking, I'm joking. I was in a park, just not that park though, strangling another woman. I always feel like I'm gonna end up dying a stupid way. Like forgetting to look both ways before I cross the street or falling asleep in the bath or choking on a sugar-free Allen snake. So that's why I always carry a suicide note with me. It makes me feel safe. No one will ever be at Denver Christian's funeral saying, I heard he slipped on a banana peel and broke his neck. They'll be saying, he broke his own neck using a banana peel. He was genius, take him too soon, preach. I still live at home with my parents. The only way I'll ever be able to afford a house is if the bank says I can pay them back in jokes. I'll get a call going, Mr. Christian, you've missed your last payment. I'd be like, sorry, can I pay over the phone? Yeah, sure. Why did the chicken cross the road? Thank you for your payment. Try not to miss it next month. Don't worry, I shan't. I live in Noble Park North, so... And whenever I go for my walk at night on the streets, my mom always says, watch out for the Apex Gang. 
I tell her, don't worry, people assume I'm Apex. <laughs> what, just because the color of my skin, big puffy jacket, machete, balaclava, and a crowbar are strapped to my back? <laughs> Which is silly, really, because I'm the opposite of Apex. I would like to fight crime. If there's crime to be fought and I'm nearby, like if some woman gets a purse stolen and the guy decides to run into my direction, and he's not too far to the left or too far to the right. And if he's a small man or an average sized child, then yeah, I will fight that crime. I'm actually thinking about changing my name. Well, not really changing it. I'm just keep Denver, but I'm just gonna make all the letters silent. So no one will ever be able to say my name. If they do say Denver, I'll be like, hey, that's not how you say my name. <laughs> it's pronounced. <laughs> On behalf of myself, my brother Savannah, and the entire human race, thank you, y'all been great. I'm gorgeous and I'm done.